All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Okay, so it's time for my final video on the Jack Wolf Knives. Feel good, Jack, guys. This thing is fantastic. Another home run from Jack Wolf, Ben Belkin over there. Uh, hopefully you guys saw him on my stream. Now, these are available this Friday at uh, the 12th of May, 2023, at 2 p.m. Eastern Time at all the dealers. I will have the link to this knife on Jack Wolf's site down in the description, and then I will also have uh, the link to his dealer list. Guys, these are going to go well, and they're going to do good. Now, uh, I showed all this in advance, but of course you get the really cool box with the story of Jack Wolf Knives, and then you get, whoops, then you get, I'm trying a little different angle here, and it's actually uh, working out pretty good. We'll see how this works with focus, but you get the tube with the artwork, the feel-good Jack. You got Jack Wolf, he's at the doctor, and you got uh, the nurse uh, trying to help him out there, and uh, really cool. Sean does some really awesome artwork. Of course, you get the leather slip. Uh, you get a pog, which has uh, Feel Good Jack, and then on the back, it's got uh, the artwork. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, and really, really cool touches. And then, of course, you get the, the cleaning cloth. Uh, really nice, great collector's item. But as far as the knife goes, uh, this, guys, is a doctor's knife pattern. Um, man, I moved the lights, and it's still fighting me. There we go. A doctor's knife pattern. You've got the titanium uh, frame, as usual, with the steel backspring with that brushed finish, kind of satin finish. You have the covers. In this case, are all fat carbon. Now, you have uh, five versions. You have the white storm fat carbon, uh, the camo carbon limoncello, the fat carbon dark matter blue, which is what this is, and the bazooka pink camo carbon, and the fat carbon carbon. Bleh. Fat Carbon Lava Flow. All of these are $299.99 this Friday at Dealers. No discounts, uh, but you can definitely use my links to, um, to White Mountain, to TraditionalPocketKnives.com, to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, to Blue Creek, uh, and help the channel out if you want to do so. Now, you have this really cool thin bolster in that gray titanium with the triple flutes, which is kind of becoming a thing for Ben. Uh, really cool. You do have the flared out handle, but just slightly. Um, and on the bottom, it's got this flat bottom. Or originally, traditionally on these, these were meant as a pill crusher for a doctor where you could crush the pill and then put it in a, uh, you know, a, a solution or whatever for the patient to drink if they couldn't, uh, swallow a pill. Um, sorry, my phone is going berserk here. So, um, but I love these covers, uh, just brilliant. You have two things going on here from the manufacturer. By the way, these are manufactured in China. You got this beautiful cover material that is contoured and finished really well. And then you've got a swell in the middle. Can you see that, guys? And so in the hand, that feels great. Now you got this beautiful back spring, contoured chamfered scales. Um, and then, of course, this brilliant finishing work. Come on. Uh, on that back spring. Uh, see, I don't know what to do. I have redone this lighting 23 times and I'm still having focus issues. So I think it's the camera, uh, the new camera that's causing me fits um, and the glare there. But you can see there is no seam done so, so well. Uh, there are no gaps. There's nothing to grab your fingernail on. It is all done. The transitions here and here at the end cap. There are no seams. There's just not seams, guys. They're, they're gorgeous. Then on the blade, uh, you've got this man... Uh, what sword I'm looking for? Magnificent. Thank you. Wow. Uh, I cut an apple with it last night, and I guess I didn't get it clean. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you got this satin-finished S90V blade. Uh, you do have uh, Jack Wolf here and S90V there. You have this nice wedge on this sheep's foot and a long pull there as you can see very cool great tang well done of course sharpening choil uh, definitely get in there and sharpen well now 
Um, as far as opening, you can use the long pull easily with your thumb, uh, but I just pinch it. You can pinch it there or here. You get the aid of that long pull uh, there really easily. Now, nice pull to the half stop, full down spring to the half stop, and pop closed. Uh, this is a seven to me, guys. Uh, overall, it's definitely about a seven. Nice walk and talk. Brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. And I love uh, the dark matter blue. Some of you are going to say there's not enough blue. I actually think I got quite a bit of blue this time, but it varies, of course. It's a little different between each one. Um, and But I actually think this particular one looks absolutely fantastic. Now, let's clear the deck here and show you guys a couple of comparisons. Of course, we'll start with the Knives Fast Regulars. The Ontario Rat 1 is going to be way bigger. The Ontario Rat 2 is going to be roughly the same length. Very good to know. It's obviously uh, the Feel Good Jack is not as tall. It's a slender knife, which makes it look really long. Uh, because of that slender finish. Now, you guys know this is patterned after a doctor's knife, and this is a Rough Rider doctor's knife. Uh, just thought I would give you this comparison. Um, you can see about the same length, a little shorter on the Rough Rider doctor's knife, uh, a little shorter here, but again, you have a second blade that um, uh, kind of, what do you call that thing, KC? Spatula uh, out there, or tongue depressor, or whatever. Now, uh, two Jack Wolf uh, comparisons for you here. Let's put this back right there. Uh, number one is going to be uh, what I'm calling the brother here. Uh, that is uh, the brother of this one because it's a similar blade shape, kind of a similar handle, but you have the coffin here. You don't have that. Here, you just got more squared off. By the way, I love the finishing touch here of the little pinch on the end cap. Really nice. Um, but you can see this one's taller, uh, but there, and, and it might be, yeah, the, the, the midnight might be slightly shorter. And then, uh, we'll give you the last Jack Wolf, which is the one from last month. This is the big bro Jack. And you can see the comparison there, uh, again, fairly similar lengthwise, uh, but a little bit different, of course, on the height. So there you go, guys. Uh, man, I'm... As usual, really impressed. Uh, I don't, somebody said to me the other day, well, you just give those good reviews because Ben sends them to me. Now, I've made it very clear, Ben does send these. I get to keep them. Um, you know, I get to review them uh, and have him on live and everything else. So it's, you know, it's, he, he helps me, I help him. But at the same time, if there was something bad on one of these, as a matter of fact, if you remember back, uh, shoot, I can't get it to stay there. We'll just do it down here. Um, if you remember back to the, um, shoot, cannot remember the name of that one. Why am I blanking? One of the early ones had uh, where the blade was sticking up and it actually uh, sticks out of the handle a little bit. And I made that very clear that that was an issue for me. Uh, I had another one that the spring was not as springy as some of the others and I definitely pointed that out. So guys, the problem is these are made so well, there's nothing negative to point out. So uh, I'm just telling the truth and the truth is these are absolutely so well made. Now again, these are available at dealers Friday the 18th uh, of the 18th, the 12th. Wow. Friday the 12th of uh, May 2023 at dealers. Wow. Really trying to mix that one up, the 12th. And uh, so make sure you guys are ready because I think these will go pretty quick. I think the first one is going to be uh, the White Storm and then I think probably the Limoncello uh, and uh, the Pink. Uh, we'll probably go quick in the Mars Valley, and, and who knows? I don't know how it's going to go, uh, but I bet you that White Storm will go quick. So if you want that one, you best be ready. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of this one. Oh, by the way, I forgot to talk about the important thing. Um, ergonomically, fantastic. Uh, get a great four-finger grip. Uh, I was cutting an apple with it last night, bringing it back like this, cutting it through the apple, cutting down on the apple like that. 
uh, just felt really nice in the hand. So there you go. The Jack Wolf, I'm just going to put it down. This is just not working out on this one, but um, the Jack Wolf, uh, feel good Jack. Again, doctor's knife, really cool, and I really enjoy it. Thank you, Ben, so much, guys. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below, do all the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.